Okay, so today's video will be on my 93 Civic and what I'm going to be showing or trying to fix is the drain plug on the radiator. So every time I drive this, when it's cold, the radiator doesn't leak and it only leaks from the drain plug once the radiator gets hot. So I tried looking it up online. There's a bunch of different ways on fixing this. I'm gonna come up with my own way and hopefully my idea works and you guys can use it for yourself. So, like I said, there's a drain plug at the bottom of the radiator that needs to come out to do this. Uh, let me take the intake tube off. That'll give us some more room. I'll take the drain plug out and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the tube, intake tube out of the way. And down there, as you see, is my drain plug. Right there. Okay, so I gotta take that out. And what I'm gonna put in its spot so the fluid doesn't come out is this rubber plug. So I'm just gonna stick it in the hole and hopefully that keeps the water from coming out. So uh, let me work on that next. I'm gonna try to show you guys as I do this. So just give me one sec. All right, so I got a drain pan sitting on the floor to catch any uh, coolant that comes out of the hole. So let me loosen this drain plug. Lefty Lucy. This is tight. There we go. And I've already tried to uh, come up with a way for it to stop leaking and it didn't work. So you're going to see some Teflon maybe on this plastic drain plug. And not much fluid is coming out and that's because the system is still sealed putting in the plug and that should uh, not leak uh, much so so this is the drain plug that came with the radiator and this, uh, this sucker would leak on me and like I said it only happened when the drain plug or the radiator got hot so I took this to the auto parts store just to measure the bolt uh, pitch and thickness and it's a m10 by 1.25 bolt so i went to amazon and searched to see if i can find a drain bolt with that size and i found one so if this works out for me i will be leaving a link in the description so again, this is a, a drain bolt I found on Amazon. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. I'm not exactly sure, but it wasn't much. And hopefully this fixes my leaky radiator. So let me uh, get this out of the package. Uh, and I am gonna put a little bit of thread sealant on the bolt just uh, for extra protection. It comes with a copper washer. I know it's a different metal from the radiator. Uh, the radiator is aluminum and sometimes when two different metals touch uh, it'll cause corrosion and uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on it and hopefully that doesn't happen. So so let's move on. Uh, one thing I did want to show is how tall this drain bolt is compared to the old one. So if I put washer to washer height I mean it's not much taller. Uh, there is a magnet on this drain bolt, so it's a little longer. I want to say at most an eighth inch longer than the original drain bolt. I already threaded this in the uh, radiator and it threads perfectly. There is no binding, so this is going to work. So my next step, I'm going to put some Teflon on these threads, drive it in the radiator, and show you guys what that looks like. So I got some Teflon on the, uh, on the threads. I know a lot of people are going to frown on that, but that's what I'm going to do. 
and I'm just gonna take the plug out of the drain. Okay. And I'm gonna try to thread that in. But my hands are a little wet, so it's kind of difficult to thread that in. I just want to go as far as I can with my hand or my fingers. I want to make sure that it's not cross threading at all. There it is. So that's what that looks like. As you can see, the bolt actually sits inside this like tube thing here. So if you got that going on, this bolt will work. So I, uh, I hope this works. You know, every time I drive it, I come back and uh, it'll always be leaking. So hopefully this fixes it. Don't forget to top off your coolant. I'm gonna put everything back, take it for a little drive, and see what happens. One thing you wanna do real quick, just make sure it's not leaking real fast on you. Not sure if you can see mine, but looks good. And as you walk, uh, drive the car, just keep an eye on your temperature gauge, you don't want to be driving around then overheating, because you got no coolant, so. Alright, before I get too far, I'm just keeping an eye on it, I pulled over, making sure this thing's not leaking on me, and so far, she is looking good. Alright, I'm just going to keep driving around go back home and hopefully no leaks happen. So I stepped at the car wash, make sure it wasn't leaking. So I think I figured how to stop that leak. Real test will show once I get home and there's still no leak. So I'm gonna drive home and uh, I'll see you guys there. Usually after driving this thing around town, I get little drips and I don't see nothing. Dries a bone. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's it's not dripping, so I fixed that. That's a plus. So if you got one of these uh, aluminum radiators, uh, that might be a fix for you also. As soon as the radiator got hot, uh, that drain plug would would drip and leak, so. I'm glad I figured something out and maybe you guys can use this idea if you're having the same issue and uh, yeah I'm glad I fixed that again I have a skunk 2 radiator if you have a aftermarket aluminum one um, but it's another brand in that bolt that drain bolt may be different uh, so watch out for that but I'm glad I fixed it and uh, success so I'll see you guys on the next one.